Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nurul Sharaf Bindi Nualsin from UITM Shah Alam, Faculty of Civil Engineering. I will explain about my case study, which is polymer concrete added with fly ash. First of all, why polymer concrete? In normal concrete, the water dries up and leaves the pores. These pores become the edges of various liquids or gases. The presence of force also reduces drying in terms of lateral and compressive strength and make the concrete poor in resistance, also easy to strut by sulfate and acid attack. Therefore, to overcome these problems, the polymer concretes are being developed and introduced. A polymer is a large molecule containing hundreds of thousands of atoms from combining one, two, or more kinds of small molecule which is called as monomers into change of network structure. Next, what is polymer concrete? Polymer concrete is the type of concrete if they use polymer material as a supplement in replacement of the binder. The polymer binder which may be a thermoplastic but more frequently is a thermosetting polymer plus with mineral filler like aggregates, gravel, and crushed stone. The addition of polymer in concrete results in a polymerization of monomer and aggregate mixture. The polymer of a monomer acts as a binder for aggregates and is resulting a composite concrete. The main technique in producing polymer concrete is to minimize the volume of voids between the aggregates. So let's take a look on the advantage of the polymer concrete. The advantages are the rapid curing at ambient temperature, good adhesion to most surfaces, high flexural and compressive strength, good long-term durability, long permeability of water, good chemical resistance and corrosion. Next, why choosing fly ash? Fly ash is an inorganic waste that can obtain from the coal, which is environmental friendly and economical friendly. Next, let me explain about basic concept of polymer concrete. Commonly, the type of resin used in polymer concrete is epoxy resin, urine resin, and acrylic. These types of resin will give different outcomes. Other than that, binder contain aggregate segregation, curing condition, and extra drug will affect the polymer concrete. The properties of polymer concrete are depends on the properties of aggregates, purity, cleanliness, and design mixture. Usually, properties are divided into two parts, which are mechanical and chemical properties. As for mechanical properties, the compressive strength of polymer concrete is either similar or greater than Portland cement. Polymer concrete is durable due to very low permeable water and absorptive solution. As for chemical properties, it is high in thermal reaction, so it is durable in the condition of rapid risk and throw cycles. Polymer concrete also is resistant to chemical. It can survive chemical reaction like that of sulfate, oil, acid, and alkali. It is also resistant to corrosion. Polymer concrete does not allow the intrusion of carbon dioxide. So, there are several testing to perform in order to find the best outcome of the concrete ability. Compression test is used to determine the hardened concrete strength and compression and to measure of the concrete resistance to compressive load. Next, an indication of concrete beam or slab strength known as flexural strength is determined by the material ability to bend under tension for and rock for an unreinforced concrete slab or beam to withstand bending failure, while it can be used in the construction work and repairing work. Moreover, due to the low permeability and corrosion resistance, it can be used in repairing corrosion damage concrete. Next, materials that we need for this procedure are epoxy resin, hardener, fly ash class F and also aggregate size 0 to 4 mm and 4 to 8 mm. <coughs> for the polymer concrete mixture, mixing the required quantities of binder between epoxy resin and also hardener. 
Then, mix the aggregate and added filler which is Y Ash plus F into the mechanical mixture. And, the mixture was poured in a mold and the curing process started for 14 days. For the data analysis, the composition of Y Ash class F and as we can see, it is high in silica and alumina but low in calcium. From the table, we can see that the 10 sample with different percent of epoxy resin, fly ash, and aggregate. Next, table shows the mechanical properties of the polymer complete without fly ash in terms of compressive strength, flexural strength, and split strength. Next, table shows the mechanical properties of the polymer concrete with fly ash and sample with a 12.4% of epoxy resin will be plotted on the graph. For the discussion, I'm going to explain about compressive strength, flexural strength, and speed strength of polymer concrete. The three samples that have been tested are 6.4, 7.2, and 12.8% of light ash dosage. The first graph represents compressive strain versus light ash for 12.4% of epoxy resin. The highest compressive strain for 12.4 was 69.82 MPa and the lowest value was 57.96 MPa. From the results, we can conclude that the higher dosage of fly ash, the higher compressive strength. This is because the dosage of fly ash that has, but if <laughs> introduced concrete which is 12.8% was higher than sample 1 and sample 2 which was 6.4% and 7.2 respectively. From fractional strength graph, the dosage of the fly ash affected the performance for flexural of the concrete, where we can see the first sample with 9.4% of fly ash dosage, the flexural strength obtained is 16.67 MPa, which is the highest result among the three samples with the same 12.4 of epoxy resin. The value of flexural strength will be decreased as the dosage of the fly ash increase. As we can see, the value of fractional strain drops from sample 2 which is 15.86% to sample 3 which is 14.3%. Next, split strain. Split strain is a method for testing the tensile strain of concrete by splitting a cylinder in how vertically concrete's tensile strain may be measured this way. The split strength for three samples with 12.4% of epoxy resin increased, aligning with the increment of the fly ash dosage. For sample 1, with 6.4% of fly ash dosage, the split strength value obtained is 5.67 MPa, while for the sample number 2, with 7.2% fly ash dosage, the value for split strength observed increased. 6.49%. The value continued to rise until 7.18% of the fly ash dosage of all three samples increased with 12.8%. From the graph, it is observed that as the fly ash dosage increases, the speed strength for the concrete with 12.4% of epoxy resin also increases. From the case study, we can conclude from the data of the test the polymer content of 12.4% of epoxy resin with fly ash is showing greater result than without the fly ash. The addition of percentage for the fly ash into the polymer concrete with 12.4% resin content improved the corrosive strength and speed tensile strength of the concrete get more stronger parallel to the increment of the fly ash percentage. The epoxy resin incorporated in mortar composition could bring an improvement in the properties of the mortar and concrete.
The strength and durability of the polymer concrete can be used in highway surfaces repair since it's quick, cook, and operating. That's all from me explanation about my case study, which is polymer concrete added with fly ash. Thank you.